there's something about the professional interactions that we had, the, I don't know, like the level of respect that they showed, um, and just, just, it makes such a difference when the person that you're talking to uh, talks like a human being. <laughs> and uh, James at Martin Gerard was really, really great at that. <laughs> he made us feel like normal people rather than kind of the customer that we just didn't really feel comfortable being. James and the wider team at Martin Gerard really went further than they needed to go with every interaction. When we ended up buying through them, um, they, they pulled out all the stops. We looked for a long time like we weren't quite gonna manage to be in the flat by Christmas. And that was really sad. Um, we were homeless by that point. We were living sort of couch surfing with friends. Our stuff was in storage. We were in a totally unsustainable position. And James just worked so hard for us, just worked so hard and made it possible for us to get here before, before Christmas. So we moved in with a Christmas tree. <laughs> None of the other agents that we came into contact with while we were looking for somewhere to buy were anything like as responsive, as cooperative, um, and it's just w as willing to engage. So I think the, the standout thing about the Martin Gerard team that I, I worked with, that worked with me, um, was that they just seemed so much more than willing to go the extra mile. They um, did a lot of the sort of legwork of running documents, doing the chasing. I mean, me and my boyfriend both work quite busy jobs, lots of people buying are working full time and just having someone who's really on your side, even when they don't really have to be, um, just made all the difference. It made me feel so confident in a process that was really scary. <sighs> James is just a friendly guy. <laughs> I don't think he was putting it on. I think he, he really is a people person. And so that kind of weird, stilted conversation that you sometimes have with estate agents, we, there was just none of it. It felt very natural and normal, and he didn't try and make small talk just to fill time. He sort of, if he, had, if he called me, it was because there was something he needed to say, and we, t we talked about it, and he was upfront and honest and just so trustworthy in that regard um, that it, it made me happy to pick up the phone to him, which I'd never thought I would say about an estate agent. <laughs> Knowing that... Um, Martin Gerard were going the extra mile, made them a very trustworthy unit of people. Um, seeing time and time again that they were sort of working longer hours than I expected and making calls and doing a lot of the, the work so that I didn't have to do it. Um, just anyone that puts that much effort in on your behalf, you can trust, you know? And so I definitely trusted Martin Gerard. During the process of the buy, uh, James had some leave booked. He's a normal human, he has holidays to take, um, and we've been really dreading it. We knew he was going away, it was at a really crucial time, and we just thought everything's gonna fall apart without him. He'd been doing so much of the work, I didn't think I could pick up all of the strands of what he was doing while he was gone. But impressively, um, I called the office to try and figure out what I needed to do to sort of cover, and the whole team were just, they were totally up on the buy, they knew the case, they all knew my name, they were incredibly polite. I didn't have to fill anyone in because they'd all talk to each other. So um, James's boss, Mark, particularly, just knew what was going on, had his finger totally on the pulse and was just as um, on the case with what needed to be done as James was. So it was a seamless process, actually. It was really impressive. Going into the process, I had hoped to find an agent to work with that didn't hassle with calls when they didn't need to, so sort of efficient and to the point. Um, was sort of, I don't know, smart enough in the business that they were doing that they were always one step ahead of where they needed to be, and so on the ball, um, and friendly enough that I felt like I could talk to them every day because you end up talking to your estate agent more than you end up talking to your own mum. So uh, it has to be someone that you can talk to. And uh, we were so lucky that we ended up buying through Martin Gerard, really, because the James, Mark and the team, they hit all three nails on the head. 
but if you're buying in, in Crouch End or in Muswell Hill or somewhere in North London where they are, I would absolutely recommend that you go and talk to them because they have amazing local knowledge, they're really friendly, really professional and trustworthy, and they'll treat you like a human being.